This is a laptop, but more specifically, this is a portable computer. This is also a portable computer. This is a 1981 Osborne One that was recently gifted to me by the gods of Facebook Marketplace. When I first got this thing, it actually worked. But it kind of smelled a bit. You know, the blown cap smell. So, earlier today, I opened this absolute behemoth up, and I took a look at the power supply, and I noticed one of the reefa caps had literally blown up and had nuked the power supply. I replaced the reefa caps with very similarly rated filter capacitors, and I powered the thing on again, and it still works. When you first turn on your Osborne, it will prompt you for a disc in drive A. Mine luckily came with a boot disc. And it boots you into CPM. I don't know why it graphically glitches like that sometimes. It just kind of happens when the drive is loading. Anyways, so now we're in the prompt for CPM. This disc has a few things on it, such as Zork 2, which is a text adventure. But it also has Microsoft Basic. Five minutes later. So once you're in, you're pretty much just in regular Basic. So you know you can do some simple commands. Now, I don't know how to escape this. The escape key doesn't do anything. There's no control alt delete so the only thing that I can do is press the physical reset button, which should bring me back to the please insert a disk screen. So the Osborne 1 is a pretty interesting computer in that it isn't based off of the IBM PC. It actually came out earlier than the IBM PC. It just runs CPM. It's simply a portable CPM computer. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.